Hey y'all, welcome back to The Real Fuller House. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you don't miss out. Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm getting ready to start creating new videos and everything, so I'm back. I'm gonna fill you all in on what's been going on and where I've been and what's been happening. My life has been completely crazy. It's been well over a year, probably maybe even two years since I made a video. So yeah, I'm so sorry, but I'm so close to 500 subscribers. So when I get to 500 subscribers, I will still keep my promise and still do that 500 subscriber giveaway. So keep that in mind. I will still hold true to my word on that. Um, we've just had so much going on in our family, but we, so we did get to adopt the bears and I'm going to put a picture. So somewhere. Put a picture of their adoption day. Um, that was really special and so sweet. And so I know that that was one of the last things that I had actually posted was, um, part of that process um, of us getting told that we were going to be able um, to adopt them, that termination of parental rights had been granted. What am I trying to say? Gosh, it's been so long since I've done this. It's crazy. But um, I'll give you a little... Yeah, definitely need to get back into the group of things. But... My health has not been that great lately, and so um, things have kind of um, fallen by the wayside. So I've had a lot of health issues lately, but I am feeling so much better um, only through prayer as I still have no actual answers from doctors, which is um, amazing because... I was so, so sick. I was so sick. So I'm feeling a lot better and I'm able to start getting up and doing things. I was, it was awful. So anyways, I'm not going to go into all of that in a video right now, but um, I can later on if you all want me to. But I just wanted to let you all know I'm back. Be watching for content coming really soon. I'm getting ready to um and starting a clothing closet for our church and so that's why all of these totes are all full of clothes so all of these totes are just from clothes from our family that are going to the church for the clothing closet which is completely crazy we still have more that i haven't even touched yet so it's gonna be so awesome we've been getting donations from other people and i cannot wait to get in the room and get started hanging up shelves and everything so i'm really excited about that project that is getting ready to get underway so that's going to be great um for our community and everything so but it's just created a big mess in my house so um I'm going to have a video coming up of me decluttering my closet. I'm working on the garage right now. You all know me. 600 projects going on at once because I can't ever just get one thing done at a time because that's how I roll. Because, yeah, crazy. So, um, yeah, I thought I just I thought I would just fill you all in a little bit. Life has completely changed for us. Um, we actually, last year... Gained another child. Our son's, our 18-year-old's girlfriend came and lived with us for like eight months. And she became part of the family. And they actually broke up a few months into her living here. Which was really, really awkward. Um, but we weren't going to like kick her out just because they broke up. So um, she was actually, uh, she was 19. But she was a previous foster child. You know, our heart is just there for the foster kids. And so for those... Those kids that just um, need that special love and attention and everything. And so our heart is just there for them. And she just tugged on our heartstrings. And um, she actually ended up moving out last October. 
And then um, our 18 year old, he moved out in November. And so it has been really, really hard for mama. I have had a lot of sleepless nights and lots of crying and emotions on top of all my other health issues and everything. It has just been so hard for me. So if y'all have had older kids that have moved out, um, help, help a mama out here because oh it has been so hard it's just my heart just breaks uh i just it's hard it, I, that's all i can say is it's just so hard i know i've just kind of placed it in god's hands and um i just continue to pray for him every day and i miss him so much and i love him and you know i will just it's not the same here without him and it's just our family is different now and it looks different and it feels most of my friends all have kids that are my younger kids age or you know no one I know has really experienced the whole kids moving out stage yet because we are I mean I'm only 35 so um for you who don't know he is my stepson um but I have raised him since he was one years old. So he's mine. And I miss him a lot. Apparently so does Bootsy. Why, hello. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> If you remember, there's not really ever a time where it's quiet or a place to sneak off where you're alone because a kid, a cat, or a husband will always find you. So, I wish I knew how to turn this thing around. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with that fridge they got out there? I don't know. Quit worrying about the neighbors. That cat is the other woman. I brought her into this house. She's the other woman. She gets so much more love than I do. It's not even funny. <laughs> Quit it, Mrs. Kravitz. Gawker. I've got to stop. Now he's brushing his teeth. He's so loud. So, anyways, that's what's going on a little bit. Um, I have so much more to share, and I'll be doing that coming up. But I just wanted to check in, let you all know I'm coming back. I'm just going to say, forget it. Here it is. Take it or leave it. Love me how I am in all my mess. And I can't wait to, to connect with you guys again. I've missed you so much. And I definitely have to say hi to Wyatt and Warren. Oh my gosh. What? Yeah, I don't have a closet. You're fine. You can pray right there. I'd love to pray with you. Oh, oh, you're going to pray with Bootsy. You're taking her in the closet? Of course. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, hi, Wyatt and Warren. I miss you guys and love you. They're my biggest fans. I've missed you guys. I love y'all, and I can't wait to catch you next time. Bye.